welcome to Brox and Max. Like and subscribe. Check out some videos. Check out some stuff. Today, I am just going to finish off the fate of this truck. I bought the truck like this. This headless horseman type of R model. Bought it for the motor. And before the viewers say, Oh, ruin a perfectly good R model. What's wrong with that truck? Well, the frame is toast. And when I mean toast... I mean, I've never seen one this bad before. It's pretty bad. Pretty roached out. So I'm going to carefully remove the hood. The hood's still in good shape. And for some reason, before they finally called it quits on this truck, they put an outside half-inch plate on both sides of this chassis. Bolted it together. So me being somewhat of a junkyard dog crow like shiny things i can see potential in saving that plate all i got to do is unbolt it and cut some bolts off but it's a good section of frame that or plate steel that i can use for a project down the road and i don't have to worry about it rotting out anytime soon being half inch but here's where the back of the cab is and then here is the crack just one of the many in this frame it's unfortunate I'm sure it could have been re-railed but it was just a gravel pit truck towards the end of its life so it is what it is it's gonna have plenty of parts to go around for all the projects that I have motor runs good like I said I bought it for the motor and stay tuned see how I process things try to make it a little simpler on myself Trying to make it easy for a one-man band like myself. So I cut all the bolts off on this one side. And I got my go-go hammer. Let's see how easy this is to hammer off. And put that off to the side for a rainy day. So before I give it a go with my spreader, chisel, and the pry bar, I just want everybody to understand what holds this in place. You got cross member bolts, and then somebody cut around certain bolts, even around the trunnion stand bolts. They grabbed a couple to hold it in place, but what possesses somebody to do this amount of work? To me, it would just seem, if you're going through all that effort, why not just re-rail the thing? Because this was not an easy task, whoever did this, both sides. Obviously, he must have been listening to his boss or maybe an owner-operator trying to finish off the truck. But to me, that just seems like a whole lot of work for nothing. Just so everyone can see what was on this outer rail when I took that plate off. It still has paint behind it, but it's got, you know, cracks here. Somebody obviously did a little repair there. 
I just don't understand what the point with the plate was. That's one thing if you're doing like a section, let's say a three foot section that's weak or whatever, but to do the full length from the fuel tank all the way to the end, I mean, that's a good 14 feet with the wheelbase of this truck. I admire the effort, but the outcome just doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. But anyway. I just cut the bolts off for this whole hood mechanism I want to save it all I don't want to just chop it off at the what do you call that tie rod end or whatever that is but, so you got this it's got a little spacer that pops off of there I don't know if you can see it it's got grooves this particular Mac RD has grooves, so you don't have to, when you're putting the hood on, I'm assuming when you install it, you could have the bolts in and everything should line right up, slide right into place. Unless you're just putting this in and you didn't want to put these, take these bolts out. Whatever the reason is, kind of a good idea. I wonder if it'll help me in the take apart process. Well, clearly it did. So I will just take this, move this out of the way, and now the hood is ready to come off. Got my forklift hooked up, pallet underneath it, should come right off with ease. that power steering box out of the way so I have the full complete kit if I need it and then I have full on access to get the motor out I just got to take the front motor mount the bell housing bolts some fuel lines and it should come out relatively easy
okay as you can see it wasn't too much of a struggle came right out separated from the transmission pretty easy you're always going to forget something no matter what you do there's always going to be something that's hanging that you didn't see just all i i missed the ground cable to the engine which isn't a big deal still pulled out relatively easy i wanted to get this done today just because it's getting a little bit cloudy and we're supposed to get some rain and now that i have the hood off i just didn't feel like spending all the time having to seal everything off i'll just put this in a dry storage area for now and then worry about it later because my gut instinct is always to get rid of the bulky stuff i want to cut the rear end right off but the problem with that is then the chassis tilts down or you got to get jack stands it's just sometimes it's just not a good idea to do that so i took this approach to pull the motor first i'll pull the transmission get the front end itemized i'll chop this here because the front end and power steering is of value to me for my other projects and basically the middle here that's absolute junk part of the frame it's going to go to the scrap but all of this is utilized parts in my collection that i got going on so this is the end of it for today but i will keep rolling the footage and chop up the rest so i can finish off this video
basically this is it. I just cut that front section because I will save the front end and the steering box and the front axle. But this midsection is complete junk. I'll save the air dryer and the two tanks. They seem to look like they're in pretty good shape. But this frame is toast. So just making big pieces into little pieces. It's going to pick up my area when it's all said and done. But you basically have the gist of what I had to do to process a truck. I'm sure everybody cuts trucks up their own way. Like I said, this isn't. The most favorite thing that I do. I wish every truck could be saved, but this frame, mm -mm, no good. So it'll be a good parts piece for other stuff. So nothing really goes to waste here other than the frame. So just keep watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Until the next one.